Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to yet another Reddit video. Let's see what we've got. This hit me hard. Book of Lies, Chapter 1. I love you. Dude, that... That is deep, man. Okay, so I've been called a Sora TV clone a lot, namely because I cover the same posts when I do a subreddit as him. As if I meant to change what the top posts are. We're both doing top posts of a particular... How am I meant to be different? But this one, Soro hasn't done it yet. It's all mine. But I'll tell you what, with the ones that Soro has beaten me to, I'll begin on like the third page of the top of all time, just so we don't do the same posts. Will you be happy then? Okay, here we go. Suicidal people are just angels that want to go home. Oh yeah, dude. Romanticizing suicide is just so cool and edgy. Damn, dude. And then, quite the adequate response here. Bitch, what the fuck? Okay, Jaden Smith, it seems, is just the king of this subreddit. It's your birthday. I didn't respond. Are you not excited to be 15? He asked. Reading my book, I uttered, What does Jaden Smith sound like? Um, I turned 15 a long time ago. That was not- Okay, he seems to have improved since this 15-year-old boy genius, baby Einstein's sage. But back then, he was just everything this subreddit stands for. Last night, I hung out with some friends and cheated on you. Don't worry, I did something worse. What? I stayed home and trusted you. Dude, that is woke. Remember when we used to say BRB all the time when we were online? We don't say it anymore. Nobody says BRB? We no longer leave. We live here now. I don't see what's wrong with that. This is so sad. Okay, let's have a look. Um, is it a message about politics? About uh, climate change? Something like that? Um, no. Okay, there's one singular person reading a book that's aptly titled Book. Obviously in the minority, right? And then there's a bunch of people crowded around a laptop, not a Mac, not a Dell, not... What else is there? Acer? No. It's a boob-branded laptop. The very well-known tech giant. If the Titanic sank in 2017, and then there's just a bunch of people taking pictures of it. But what were they meant to do? Like, is this implying that without smartphone technology, right? The people would all jump into the water and lift up the ship, just B-movie style. Is that what it's implying? It seems to be what it's implying. Back to Jaden Smith. The man, the myth, the legend. If there is bread winners, there is bread losers, but you can't toast what isn't real. Now that one has to be a joke, right? Like, surely that's... Nah. I like being alone. I have control over my own space, therefore, in order to win me over, your presence has to be better than my solitude. You're not competing with another person. You are competing with my comfort zone. Okay, I hate to kill the fun, but I feel like this one isn't that bad. Like, sure, it's over-dramatizing it and making it a way bigger thing than it should be, but it's a fair point, really. This photo represents the difference between the 99% who party and the 1% who work on bettering their future. And it's just a crowd in front of a performer. This makes no sense at all. It implies that anyone who takes a day off, who goes to a concert with their friends, is a lazy, good for nothing, who just parties all day. And also, how about journalists? How about photographers who are there making money? This doesn't make sense. You're trying to make some point, some message, but it completely falls on its ass and you should rethink this. Sincerely, Slazzo. I like 21 Pilots, because they sound happy, but the lyrics are depressing. Like me, I sound happy, but if you actually listen, I'm actually pretty broken. Are you really that broken? Or are you just a little bit upset? Like, really? Democrats say Republicans are idiots. Republicans say Democrats are idiots. And I'm just here like, you're all idiots. And I can prove it mathematically. Rick Sanchez. I don't even need to explain. It explains itself. I don't understand how you guys do it. Every day that I wake up, I think about how blessed I am. I can't imagine how others function with such weak mental faculties. But you all seem so happy. 
I was given the gift of a 107 IQ. It's not that high, is it? But with the condition that I had to be in a cesspool of people unlike myself. Nobody knows what a gigabyte is. Nobody knows what piebald means. Nobody knows how to build a PC. Okay, here we go. A lot of people know what a gigabyte is. Okay, piebald, you can just Google the definition. And building a PC, just watch Linus Tech Tips or something, I don't know. Please delete your account. Couldn't have said it better myself. People think it's fun and cool to be woke, lol. It's actually pretty shitty and frustrating being conscious in an unconscious society. Why do all these people think this? You're not the only person who's unhappy or aware of yourself. Pretty much everyone is, and everyone's unhappy. Just because you're aware of your own existence, and a bit unhappy, doesn't mean you're special. It means you put up with the same shit all of us do. You're just another person. Anyway, rant over, back to the, uh, memes. Slavery versus NFL draft. Are they really the same? I don't know if those slaves got handed multi-million dollar contracts afterwards, but... Whatever you say. Almost all armed conflict in the history of the world came about because opposing sides believe different things to be true. Yep, that, that's what conflict is. Well done. Okay, this one, <laughs> this one hits home. Dad, just remember next time you take away my phone or iPad, you're taking away my happiness. Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, and a boy PewDiePie. I mean, I reckon another guy should be there too, but you can't have everything. I've been asked if my baby is a girl or a boy. But never if he slash she is a person. I'm sorry, what? Oh yeah, hey Sarah, um, I, I hear you're expecting now. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, do we know the, um, yeah, do we know their gender yet? I'm um, actually, I would like it if you didn't assume for once. It's, it's actually a baby horse. Thank you. Like, I don't get what they're going for. Like, you walk up to someone, is your baby a person? Like... It'd be an insult. They say a cigarette takes seven minutes off your life. Right, right. But so does seven minutes. No way. He's right. Seven minutes is seven minutes. It's, it's true. There's a reason the rear view mirror is so small and the windshield is so big. Where you're headed is much more important than what you've left behind. No, it's so you can see in front of you. Okay, here we have a well-illustrated one, at least. The conveyor belt of life, right? And the people go through school, work, and then family, and then they die. This dude just runs off. I'm not sure where to, and what he would do. Like, what else? Is there a meme section over there? What's, what's the goal here? And does that mean this guy doesn't die? Is this a life hack? Intelligent people will understand. The smart person is the only sad one, the dumb pe- Being sad is not smart. Everyone can be sad, and everyone can be happy. Stop being so pretentious. If you give this to your plans, then why do you give this to your children? I mean, I see what they're trying to say. Like many of these, there's a fair point there, but it's just such a shit way of showing it. Like, feeding junk food to your kids is bad, for sure. That was not worth a joke, I spilled it on. A kid does not equal a plant. They are two very different things. For one million dollars, would you accept living here for two months without internet and TV? Would I live in this incredibly scenic, nice, warm looking home? Shut up, there are some dogs outside. Would I live there for two months for one million dollars? I would do some far worse things for a million dollars. Living in this incredible place for free, no expenses. Yes please, sign me up. There is a difference between someone telling you they love you and them actually loving you. Wait. People sometimes don't tell the truth? No way! I don't believe that. That's way too woke for me dude. Way too woke. Anyway guys, I will have to end that video there. I'm considering making these ones a bit longer since you guys seem to enjoy them. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed it, and I am still looking at ways to make this whole series better. I don't want to make it all just reading, so incorporating some skit humor, some more physical stuff would be interesting, I think. Anyway, that's really for me to figure out. I'll find some way. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe if you're new. If not, hit that like button. It'd mean a lot to me. And thank you to my patrons. Absolute legends. 
thank you. I have been super busy recently, so uploads have been a bit shaky, but every time I do upload, it is so, so gratifying. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, and also, also follow me on Twitter.